Bentley starts his day by going to the most amazing shopping centre that even allows him to bring us humans in. We grab ourselves a delicious lunch and then set off to do a spot of retail therapy. Go on, in again. In again. Who's drinking it as well? <laughs> Don't drink it. <laughs> You're not sure, are arrived at the most incredible location and I think it's a very cheers worthy event. What on earth is that you're drinking? I don't know. It's lovely though. You get these in like sushi bars. I really like them. I'm just drinking. Cheers. San Miguel. Cheers. <laughs> you need so, to see this view. Gone. Show us. Gone. Thankfully, we have lots of friends who live in uh, vans, camper vans, and all sorts of vehicles, and they're able to show us and uh, send us links to the most amazing places. So, our good, uh, our good friends Theo and B from the Indie Projects sent us this location, and it is stunning, absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. There. Well, the best way to celebrate being in Portugal is by the Portuguese speciality, the nata. Nata. Oh, these are amazing. Originating in Lisbon, supposedly. Oh, Bentley's very excited by these as well. We've got oh, lots oh, of them. Get off it. Get off it. Oh, they're like a, I think like a custardy caramelly kind of thing. Thank you. I would have laughed if you dropped that and Bentley had eaten it. <laughs> you know, even he just dropped the camera straight down. <laughs> oh, man, so good. There's more chance of me dropping the camera than dropping this. <laughs> that is amazing. They're like custody, pastry y, but they're just brilliant. Mm. Well, you wanted to see this place when it's looking lived in. It's looking lived in right now, thanks to the fact that we've got like loads of our laundry out hanging we did get it dry earlier but we only went for like a 15 minute dry so uh yeah it had a little bit of a way to go so there's stuff like hanging up everywhere and all our shopping bags on the bed as well i will tidy up and at some point we will do a um proper tour and really talk about things we like and things we don't like in the van as well there'll be a proper review um, but yeah for the time being this is it lived in well it is my turn to cook tonight and we're gonna have these veggie curry Hindu style little pots which will go in a pan I need to do some rice of course I've got no way of me measuring rice so I've absolutely no idea how much I'm going to make or even how long it takes because it's all in a completely different language. So uh, wish me luck, but I've got a beautiful view to work with here. So there's that. So it's one kilogram and it says one portion 100 grams. So there's two of us, so 200 grams each. So I reckon like, <laughs> so you get it into a fist maybe? You can have the smaller portion <laughs> when you get this wrong. Oh, it's going to go horribly you. wrong. Just getting way too much. I can never tell with rice. 
Better to do too much than too little, I suppose, isn't it? What do we reckon? Well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what turns out. So as Lizzie cooks us up a nice meal for tonight, I'm actually just sat enjoying this incredible view. It's just, I know we keep going on about it, but it's just the most perfect location. A few camper vans here. I can see three that way and yeah, a couple that way. There's a big overlander that's about but yeah, everyone's sort of keeping themselves to themselves and it's just very relaxing. It's really nice that Portugal allows um, people in vans to do that kind of thing, it's, it's great. And what is fantastic is, compared to the place in Spain that we went to that was that lake area, this is really, really cool because it's, people have looked after it. There's, there's no rubbish anywhere. Everyone has taken the rubbish away and it's just been kept really, really immaculate, which is how it should be. We need to respect these places so that the uh, local authorities allow us to keep coming to these incredible locations. So, very, very nice. Do you care more about the sunset or the dinner? Probably the dinner, is it? Oi, talking to you. Clearly, the dinner. leaving the van uh, there's a little bar just down the way really not that far away from here from where we've parked up that we're just going to go and have some lunch at this is really such a good location Uh, it's like shrimp sauce on a big steak. Amazing. Well, dinner at that restaurant was delicious. We had, um, yeah, sea, well, like a shrimp sauce steak. A bit like a surf and turf back home, but it was very nice. But in the past sort of hour or so, it's just got so warm. It's like the, the cool breeze has stopped and it's all of a sudden a very, very warm breeze. So yeah, Lovely. we're gonna, we're heading back to the van now and we're just gonna go and chill out in the shade probably. Certainly get uh, Bentley some shade as well. But yeah, very nice meal. You can just see the van, uh, just there.
Join us next time when the weather literally changes overnight and we wonder whether the Grand California can float. Sean's just uh, trying to check the tide times on his phone, see whether we're going to drown or not. <laughs>